You know we got my man Zelsie back here in the back cooking up in the kitchen. I'm shoving up here in the back. cooking that molly water. Could you like crack? What? She actually not cooking no crack. She about to die my head. Don't be afraid to try anything new, y'all. You watching this right now is because you want to try something new. Don't be afraid to do anything crazy out of the ordinary. Who knows? You might like it. You feel me? So the products we're going to end up using today is made by Arte Fox. We're going to use Rosé. We're also going to use Harry Winkle as well, right? She also mentioned that we're also going to use a little bit of silver. We're going to use 20. 30. We're going to use 30. 30 developer, developer right? Because my hair, I've never had anything done to it. I have virgin hair. We'll check again at 2 o'clock. Alright, so basically they just finished bleaching my head right now. Your ends. My ends right now. And I'm about to feel that in a few. We're waiting 20 minutes and then we're going to bleach the scalp. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how many times we have to actually bleach the head. I need to be like completely dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we're just applying the colors. So what are we gonna do real quick? So we're doing a little ombre. We're doing periwinkle mm -hmm. on the tip. Silver. Mm -hmm. And the periwinkle on the tip. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mix it in with your fingers. Mm -hmm. This is the end result. This is the day after. She actually did a really great job, if you don't mind me saying. You feel me? Really great job. The end result. Yes, I know the back of my head is some fucking dumb. I understand that. Regardless of that, it's looking really good so far. She even got the roots down. We're gonna end up bleaching this again a month from today. You're gonna see us do another video and you're gonna actually see us completely make this like platinum at the bottom. So it's gonna be way more, it's gonna be way lighter. I love it. And I think the adjective I dead ass described this as when we saw the results was beautiful. I felt beautiful, I dead ass felt beautiful. Like a little merman or something like that, you feel me? Hey yo, what the fuck? Right now I'm gonna just give myself a little taper. I'll show you a couple little, Clips of that, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I'll show you a couple little different clips. And then I'm also gonna end up box braiding this as well, you feel me? So I'm gonna box braid this as well, and you're just gonna see everything, the final product, the whole transformation, all right? You can see a couple different clips. All right, so I already did this side, right? And to be honest, it doesn't even look that crazy. It looks pretty eye, right? It looks eye, considering I'm doing this myself, I don't wanna go in the shop and do it during the day because I feel like I, I don't got time for that right now. So I'm gonna just squeeze it in right now. Every mistake is a learning experience and that's what I'm doing right now. So literally all I've been doing is going on my phone, looking at the mirror, this mirror in my bathroom and like looking back like this. Literally, this is all I'm doing. I'm trying to like cut myself while looking at my phone.
so far, I'm looking not too bad. Not too bad, but you saw me, you really saw me out here struggle, bro. I was sweating. I'm not gonna cap with y'all, I was sweating. <laughs> We're not looking too bad right now. I'm gonna start doing the hairline. The hairline probably has to be the trickiest part for me, just because I have glasses and they tend to be in the way. But I'm also blind, you feel me? I'm also very, very, very blind. I was shaking. <laughs> I did this side eye, but this side is the one that really gets me in a lot of trouble. I think I did pretty good. Not too bad. Wait till I box braid mine. Now we good money, right? Now we're gonna wanna start braiding it. I wanna braid it down this way, right? So that way it kind of goes to the side. Getting a little progress done now. I'm on my third box braid. On the third. This is the final product. It's not too bad, right? Not too bad at all. Look at that. That was the end of the video. That was the whole transformation. We went from black to purple to pink, and we used a little bit of silver. And honestly, the whole transformation is actually a little bit refreshing. I haven't had a different haircut in a minute. I had a man bun about a year ago, but I didn't take it out, cut it off because I felt like my hairline was being pushed back, you feel me? But this is the haircut. This is what I am normally gonna wear my hair. If it's not gonna be in a ponytail, it's gonna be in box braids with a little beanie or a hat on, just so it looks dope. And I'll show y'all what it looks like without the beanie. The back is a little bit messed up because I had the beanie on all day. So it kind of like transformed my hair a little bit. But this is what I look like without the beanie. And the box braids came out really dope. Yelsey and my girl, they really helped me out. D with the hair color. Sick. This is sick. Now, like I said, the back here is oh, it's, it's just a little bit work because I have my hat on. But other than that, the haircut's like a fire. Look at that. And just remember, if you like the video, make sure to comment, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification button. So that time, that way, every time I come out with a new video, you're always going to be notified. And I'm going to catch y'all till next time. You hear it?